Hey everybody, and welcome to this week's episode. This week we're going to be learning how to play John Legend's All of Me. It has a wonderful introduction on the piano. It sounds like this. It's actually relatively easy to play. We just have to figure out a couple of rhythmic issues. And But first and foremost, we have to find out what key we're in. And if you notice, we have four flats. That tells us that we're in the key of A flat major or the relative minor, which is F minor. The great thing about what he does in the beginning, he starts off with an F5 chord. That means he's only playing the root and the fifth, and he's taking out the third. Even though we can assume it's a minor chord because that's the key signature, by taking out that third, he really keeps it ambiguous and it really gives it kind of this really dreamy quality. That's why it sounds like that. And another thing we have to find out from the introduction in verse one is the rhythm. He's got the syncopated pattern, which is a dotted quarter note, followed by another eighth note tied to a quarter note, which is the equivalent of a dotted quarter note. And then finally, also a note on beat four. And the way we would count that is like this. One, two, and three, four. 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 And we put it together with the left hand. too tough at all. Then for the pre-chorus he goes into an arpeggio and it sounds great. He has these octaves and that sounds like this. That might take a little bit of time to make sure your hand stretches with that octave but make sure you don't give up on the octave because it makes it sound really really good. And then finally on the chorus he goes to the major key, the A flat major and that sounds like this. major three sections of the piece. Nothing crazy going on. He stays within the typical chords within this key. But let's take a closer look. You'll see exactly what I'm doing. Before we begin, I just want to give you a reference that this is middle C. So we'll start with the introduction and also the piano part that he plays for verse one. And that right hand, like we said, is syncopated. So we have one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. And if we put that together with the left hand, the left hand is rather simple because we have just whole notes. And keep in mind we're in the key of A flat major. That means we have four flats. So if one of the notes that you're playing is flat, you have to make it automatically flat because it's in the key signature. So here we go. One, two, three, four. crazy there. And then the part two, which is the pre-chorus, we have this octave arpeggio, which sounds great. And I definitely recommend practicing that just the right hand by itself and then bringing in your left hand. So let's give it a shot. One, two, three, four. we get to the chorus and he goes to the major key. We have, we're in A flat major. And he's got some very simple root position chords. He has his A flat, his F minor, a B flat minor, and then finally to an E flat. So let's try the chorus. One, two, three, four. always with anything new that you're learning, it's better to go slow and then pick up the tempo gradually. You don't want to sound fast and sloppy, just take it nice and slow and you build up speed in no time. Great work. Great work on that. Below I've included a link where you can print out the rest of the chords for the piece. You can sing along. It's in the original key that way you can actually sing along with the recording which is the way I like to teach and I like to learn songs. So I hope you had a great time. I'll see you guys next time.